from the day of Abraham to the day of Jesus Christ was 42 generations. And from the day of Jesus to today, it's another 57. We are in the 99th generation from when Abraham took the promise of a coming of the joy of Christmas. And here we are celebrating the 99th generation. Are you not lucky to be among the people who are counted before we get to the 100th generation since Jesus was uh, predicted to come by promise? I can tell you God himself had a great plan from the beginning when Abraham was until here, there you are, and God is still following the, deliver uh, the deliverance of your soul. And the birthing of Jesus Christ was surrounded by great situations, circumstances. There were those ones who were celebrating out there. The inns were full. Jesus and the Mary and Joseph could not find where they could birth their, birth their baby. I am very sure you could be going through the same kind of a situation where you are challenged from every side. You go, everyone is full, and today you don't even have some to share a good word with you I am here to share a good uh, uh, Christmas word with you God loves you God cares for you and God sent his only begotten son to be birthed here on Christmas day so that you can be saved you can be delivered you can get to the next level of blessing and favor God loves you so much that he gave his only begotten son and on that day of Christmas Jesus Christ was born. And let me just give you the background. Huh. Everywhere they had to come, Joseph and Mary, they came to be registered as it was the law for that time. The king had given decree and when he, they came to the city of Bethlehem, where the, uh, the baby was going to be born, the inns were full with people celebrating like we are celebrating today. There was no room for the baby Jesus to be born. And uh, she, he was, uh, Mary and Joseph had to go to a manger. And that is where in obscurity was this boy born. Yet he was the savior of the world. He is your savior, the one who loved you enough to come from heaven to come and be birthed. And let me also inform you, the place of birthing like Christmas is, you have all the celebration, the decorations are there, the lights are there, and everything is alive. But the most important thing about Christmas is the love of God. The love to deliver you from all evil and wickedness, to give you a hope, to give your children hope, to give mar your marriage a new birth, a new beginning. And I pray that this Christmas, you will not only be celebrating with yourself, whatever you have, you share. For God gave the very best he had to share with the world. I pray that you will be able to remember your parents. Go and see them. Call them. Send them a gift if you are very far and you are working and you may not be able to celebrate Christmas. It is a festive season where you and your parents should enjoy. It is time for families to come together and to have that bond that you have not had the whole year. And so as we celebrate this Christmas, remember, it is a time to celebrate with your family. It is time to be with your husband. It's time to be with your wife. It's time to be with your children. It is time also to go and celebrate in the church. I know we have this virtual church. It is good, but go and be with the family of God and celebrate Christmas. This is going to be a better Christmas than you have never known because Christ was born for you to be happy.